ready. Wave everybody. Look oh, at them waving. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Famous YouTuber. What? Just there. <laughs> right, welcome back to another video. What's going on there? Oh, don't I'm being videos as well. Um, multiple videos. Yeah, multiple videos going on. New car. There you go, end of video. <laughs> yeah, we're probably going to put it away because it's starting to rain, but uh, Yamaha R1 right. Space Spray Mini. <laughs> no. this is it. A bunch of comedians outside trying to put me off. I'm doing a good job. <laughs> right. So, needs a seat. Um, it needs a few bits and pieces doing to it. Uh, we need to change uh, some of the fastenings for the front end. We need to work out how the uh, splitter fits. Oh yeah, changing that. Uh, we also need to uh, alter the trailer by a lot. Um, we definitely need some new ramps because at the moment, it, as it is, yeah. it won't even go on the trailer, oh, which wow. is brilliant. Um, the trailer that came with it needs a lot of work. Well, it doesn't need a lot of work, but it needs uh, lights and things fitted to it to make it uh, to the legal standards. Um, which isn't a big deal. Marker lights on the front. I'm going to put some marker lights on the side on here. Uh, I'm going to add some reflectors. I'm going to put some new lights on the back um, because they're broken and a bit dodgy. And we're also, the biggest job is we're going to chop the trailer and drop it down by uh, maybe two or three inches, something like that. That's all it needs because there's a lot of spare space above the car when it's in, not side to side, but certainly top to bottom. Um, and as it is, it won't fit under our ramps. Um, and for storage and moving cars about, it'd be brilliant if it just went under the ramps, uh, the four post yeah. ramps as they normally uh, stored. And it's about that far off going under them. So we're gonna drop it down in this top section. Uh, we'll probably chop it off at the bottom, drop the whole thing down, um, refabricate it all. Uh, we're also going to add in some access doors in the sides so that we can actually tie the car down in place because as you look at it there at the front front end is off for storage when it's in the trailer but we're going to be able to access the front to put some straps on the front i don't know about the back yet because at the back there's very little space between the back edge of the trailer and the back edge of the car so you've got no angle to put any um, tie down straps and things in so that's going to be very difficult at the front of the trailer, this is more about the trailer than it is. At the front, we're going to put a new jockey wheel on uh, with a locking mechanism so that it can't undo itself, which I've seen happen before. Might change the winch position yet, I'm not entirely sure. And also might uh, put a fresh um, hitch mechanism on it. Um, it's a bit old and cronky. It seemed to work fine, but it doesn't seem to um, lock onto the tow ball properly, so we want to get that sorted. Um, inside the trailer, we'll probably fit some LED lamps, and this shelf here that the front end sits on will probably narrow it and make it easier to fit normal cars in. Um, Christopher also had the idea of redoing this section of the trailer, uh, if you can see it. Uh, rather than having just a straight edge curve it and then that way you gain all this space and it is also more slightly more aerodynamic inside the car obviously the front end stays as it is it just needs a good clean uh, the radiator over the far side needs a little bit of work it's a bit really wobbly uh, there's nothing much holding it at the moment it just moves about, we'll probably put a brace on here. We might put a towing attachment on this bit of metalwork here so that it can be towed from the front and also um, tied down and strapped from the front. Everything in there is fine. There is some holes in the bulkhead that we'll need to sort. Um, in here, you can just about see, over in that corner, there's some holes there that'll need patching up. Uh, because I believe part of the idea is to have a 
fireproof bulkhead front and back i'm a little bit gray on the rules just as yet for for motorsport and stuff um the back bulkhead has obviously got some holes in it you can see over there and it's got some holes there like a seat cushion this is the seat for the moment um it has a perspex um window in there to go back in which has been removed for the moment while they're doing some while the previous owner took the harnesses off and moved the seat and stuff inside just needs a good clean um, there's a lot of grit and muck and stuff getting into the corners it just needs a bloody good clean um to bring it up to our standards um you know I, i'm not being fussy or anything like that but you know I, I just want it to be clean to start with i understand it's race car and all that sort of stuff but you know i just want to clean it off uh steering column it's just got surface rust on it with storage i'll rub that down maybe just paint it or something like that um same with this rear view mirror on the back edge of it it's all got corroded similar to this with just like damp with sitting um over on the far side there's some fasteners are missing off the door card same on this side behind me um, i need to get a lead to connect to the polestar ecu which is there it just looks like um, a usb type in the top um, but i need to check that um, it should be easy enough to find out um, switch panel and stuff there's your switch panel and bits and pieces down there that's all good it might need a little bit of a beef up because when you're wiggling about on the gear stick it all moves so whatever we need to beef it up I, I, i'm not entirely sure um and then that's pretty much it we need to as i said about adding the towing point in the front we need to add one at the back what we're thinking so far is there's a there's a hole in the in the floor here and the diffuser here so we might be able to put a tow strap in here and then have it looping out round the back and then just have it clipped onto here with a, a cable tie to secure it the rest of the stuff in the boot is absolutely fine as far as we can see apart from the fuel pump seem, the fuel pump filter seems to be in back to front um, it's got an arrow on it which is usually direction of flow although I need to check if that's the same for this one but everything else is pretty much just bar clean good to go uh, you can see the chunky arms there radius arms double adjustable coilovers looks like a standard uh, mini rear drum has been machined down and then the back plate drilled for lightness to let the air out let the heat out um, but yeah that's pretty much it there's rain light here um, I don't know if for motorsport regs the rain light can be down there and needs to be somewhere else and if indeed you do have to have one i think you do um backlights work in a fashion uh, the passenger side passenger side doesn't work the driver's side one comes on all the time so there's obviously something a little bit amiss with the wiring there i haven't seen yet where the activation for the brake light is i assume it's hydraulic somewhere in the system i i don't know i haven't sussed that out yet um we just had visitors this afternoon so we've just been showing around the car and just having a good old catch up and chin wag um so yeah that's it yeah my r1 space for a minute oh i suppose i should fire it up shouldn't i really it might not rain for another five minutes i'll fire it up well the fiberglass ain't going to rust but the rest of it might so oh and it also has the gopro fittings already inside there's one on the dash there and there's one at the back just there as well so let's uh see if it fires up ignition on uh fuel pump on and then I don't know if I need to give it a little bit of revs, but oh, I need more hands. There we go. So 
a little bit cold, I just need to give it a little bit of a tickle with the throttle, but I haven't got enough hands with holding the GoPro. So it's, uh... oh bollocks. Yeah, while it's warming up, I'm just having to keep it running a little bit. It's, um, it's cold, didn't want to fire. Well, it did, but I needed to give it a tiny, tiny uh, tickle of throttle just to keep it uh, running while it warms up. It's only on like 28 degrees or something. So I'll see if it idles. Just about idling there at 35 degrees. So it's, uh, when you're outside it, it's nice and quiet. I mean, yeah, it's not revving at all, just idle. Old crowd of people watching. Um, but when you give it any revs, it doesn't have sound or that, but a bit louder. <laughs> And that was about 7,000 revs out of about 12. But I don't want to do that all afternoon because I'll get in trouble with the landlord. But, uh, yeah. One uh, Yamaha R1 powered screamer. So yeah, there'll be a lot, lot more videos on this at some point. But for the moment, um, I've got Buddy the Elf to finish. I've got the VTEC Clubman estate away in build and getting the bodywork done. I'll be coming back probably within the next month. Um, and then we've got this trailer to do. We've got Christmas golf to do. I've got work to do on Morris, the 1071, just small stuff. Um, yeah, loads of work. So stay tuned for some more and I'll see you in the next video.